Hi, uh, Paula Jane Campbell again. Uh, we're in course the 29th of September, 10 a.m., for the final handle, handing down of the judgment of Andrew Sutcliffe QC um, at Leeds Combined Court, 1 Oxford Road, um, in the Chancery uh, Division. I would really appreciate people coming along to, to offer support, and I'm saying people. All of our family members, because that's what we clash as our family. Um, please come along. Um, I can't disclose in this video the full contents of the draft order, but the fact that I am appealing for people to come along and witness what is about to happen to us should clearly. Please try and read between the lines when I say this. Um, please come along. Uh, we helped. Glynis and her family stay in their home on Monday and I think um, Glynis is, uh, she's got a new lease of life and it's a wonderful thing to see how well Glynis looks in a matter of days since uh, her attempted eviction and just the sheer fact that uh, it was attempted, you tried and failed uh, and it's exactly the same company, Redstone Mortgages, uh, the same estate agent, Re um, Jonathan Corville, Reed Rains who has tried to steal Glynis and her family's property and there's a lady 17 years, foster carer, wonderful family and being persecuted. I've seen her documentation, she's about to start the battle uh, with this company. We are at the point where they've thrown everything at us, they're trying every dirty trick in the book. They are going to attempt to apply um, a restraining order which will prevent me from um, appealing putting any further applications into court and basically have uh, been refused the right to a fair hearing, uh, refused any further actions. Uh, how is this fair and just? Really, please, please, I'm pleading. This is a plead to the entire nation. Please come along, support us, share this message, get it out there because even if they do this, the, what they seem to forget is the battle is not going away from them they brought it to us and I'm going to stand my ground no matter what and fight back and whoever ever is attempting to steal sell, buy our property don't think they're going to have an easy life of it because they won't they're buying stolen goods and I have to emphasise that they are stolen goods they've thrown everything in my way and everything at my family what choice do I have other than to stand my ground and fight back? I'm not a quitter and there's no form of violence in me whatsoever. But they need to realise what they're doing is wrong, completely wrong. It's torture and duress and what they've caused in the whole entire family and people who, who are now classed as our family who have actually they've become part of this. They're as traumatised as what we are, please. I'm just begging everybody, come on board with this now. Don't let this happen. It's gone on for far too long now. This is the time where the tide has turned and we have got to truly stand our ground and fight back. It can't go on. I've seen enough. I've heard enough. And it, this, is, this is it. This is the end time for them now. I'm not prepared to take any more. I'm not prepared to see my family suffer any more. And I mean the family, all of us together in this. We are one, folks. Come on, let's stand up and help each other. Thank you.